Few places are richer in tradition, more steeped in nostalgia than this old horseshoe on the banks of the Olentangy, the home of the Ohio State Buckeyes and the Scarlet and Gray have this place rocking already. We have a ranked versus unranked battle coming up here, and you know how chaos can ensue if they start smelling an upset. As we'll see a squad from the MAC, the Western Michigan Broncos, taking on the second-ranked team in the land, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. And he's coming out of the end zone. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. So the Western Michigan Broncos offense takes the field. And here comes their leader, Jesse. He just has a way of elevating everybody's play. And he's a point guard, too. So good at distributing the football, finds the open guys, and he makes this offense go. Makes it go, and just, you can trust him. Everything is available, but if you're not playing with ball behind your back, you've got all guns blazing. Quick pass on the fly motion. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. This crowd trying to make life miserable for this offense. Going to throw it to the right. He's got his man. Now they'll really try to get this drive going. Good execution on third down as they have it first and 10 at the 31. They go to the draw. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Looking downfield, it's Wolf. Fires to the wideout. Complete in the middle. And he was on his way. Gets it all the way to the 38. And the Broncos are on the move. Really nice job by the quarterback understanding I need to throw this ball hard. Like, I got to fit him in there tight. And a nice job by the wide receiver wearing it because he really didn't have a choice because he was going to wear that one over his. Power football with the run. Defense there to stop him after a gain of three, but he is inside the 30 to the 29. On third and short, they keep it on the ground here. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Now the crowd responding in the red zone, trying to help this defense. The give to the back. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no game land. Here comes second down and this crowd is turning it up a notch. He's got it on the move. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9 yard line. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. And that ball's on the ground behind the line. Bounced right back to them. They'll try to salvage a field goal on this drive. I don't know if it was luck or aggression or just a fortuitous bounce, but at least they've got the ball back. Well, one thing I do know, Reese, this running back's got to do a better job with ball security. You cannot turn the football over and expect to win this game. They're very lucky they were able to jump on top of that. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. The Buckeyes offense will have its first possession of the game. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play well. They immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. Hand off from the gun. Nice move there. A confident, tough, efficient run. Gets it up to the 44. Halfway there on first down and second and five. Wants to throw. It's Howard. 
using the back as a receiver on the screen. And that defense is there to guide him out of bounds after a short game. Passing game very effective on second down. What about here on third? They'll try to bully their way for the first. They were all over him, nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And the punt hits at the six, and they can't down it, and it'll be a touchback. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. It's a draw. Shakes off the defender. Found a little bit of running room, knocked down at the 24 after a pickup of four. Solid pickup of four on first down and second and six. He's looking to throw. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Better find the ear plugged. Here comes the noise, backing this defense on third down. Fires to the right. Pulls it in. And he's down at the 41. That's a first down. He threw that one with some serious heat. This senior quarterback doesn't need a lot of space to get it in there. Hand off to the single back. They pick up half of it. It'll be second and five. Tried to pound it on first down. Now back to the line. The RPO fire complete to the left. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. I love this defense's ability to fight off blocks and rally to the football. They do such a great job pursuing that wide receiver screen to only allow a minimal gain and no first down. The Broncos will punt this one away. Oh, it's off the side of his foot. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. Defense fills those gaps. He's got one to the 28. Second down coming up. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Western Michigan is on top. And we've come to the end of the first as we take a moment to check out the stats so far. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game in the second quarter. Looking for a man. It's Howard. Fires to the tight end. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The Buckeye aerial attack continues to be prolific. You feel as if they're on the verge of scoring on any snap. Yeah, and it's such a good blend between such great offensive talent year after year after year that you see go to the draft, but also great play calling, great play design. They, they've always got it working, and you know this offense is always capable of hanging 40 points and making it look easy. After the strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? They'll try to get the first through the air using the quick game. He's got first down yardage as they move it to the 44. And the Buckeyes have this offense rolling. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's. It's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Crosses the 40, gets it down to the 35 before he stopped a gain of six. Wide receiver now comes in motion. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up on the ground here. The Buckeyes get it past the sticks. Just inside the 35, first and 10 from the 34. They're going to ride this running back. Pull down at the 29 after getting five. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. Just when they're looking run, now up top. Makes the catch. It's Henderson. And there were no creases or crevices to run through, and they shove him out of bounds. From the gun, he'll try to throw for it on third down. 
Got his man down the middle. Just outside the red zone as they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 22. Really nice job there by the quarterback, understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. They'll give it to the back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Here they come on third down, and the defense has had no answer so far. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Pocket starts to collapse. And the rush will get to him at the 25. Sometimes you beat your guy and you get sacked so clean. And sometimes, like on this play, the DBs do a great job covering, make the QB hold the football, and then the rush gets home. They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. This is not a straight-on kick, a 42-yarder from the right hatch. Never about. And guys, that three ball has us all tied up here in the second. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Utah is trailing right now, but it's only a couple of points. That quarterback just needs to show the poise of a young Alex Smith, and they are right back in this. It's a touchdown game. They're trailing by seven to Baylor. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Yes. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Running with power. Got enough for the first. He's brought down at the 29 after a 10-yard gain. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. Quarterback on the keeper. And the ball is out. Who's going to get it? And the defense got it. Touchdown, Ohio State. The defense takes matters into their own hands. What a big-time play for the defense. Not only forcing the fumble, but scooping it up, taking it all the way to the house. That's how you change the momentum of a football game. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, one with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Western Michigan offense ready to go back to work. He'll come out throwing on first down. And the pass to the sideline will pick up a short game. And that defense doesn't allow a cutback, and they get him out of bounds after a short game. Hand off from the shotgun. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. Really want to try to pick up at least half of the yardage needed on first and ten. Might as well run him until they stop him. He's got it again. And he's able to shed one tackle and pick up pretty good yardage. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. He's got it on the right. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. And the Broncos are moving quickly down the field. Running back searching for a hole. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. The clock has reached the two-minute mark, and they have a chance to at least cut into this lead before the break. Connection to the right. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Dropping back, it's Wolf. 
And his throw is incomplete. After the misfire, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. He's right on target. It's an offense. You're always going to take completions over incompletions and interceptions. So the offense, they're able to make that third down a little bit more manageable, but honestly, not much. Makes a connection. They'll finally put the brakes on him at the three. A big throw, catch and run on that one. It's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. Snags it, and he will score! Touchdown, Broncos! He'll try to tack on one more. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. They march 79 yards on the drive, and they finish it up with a three-yard scoring toss. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. Looking to go up top on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to pass on second down. And that pass picked off. And he's brought down. And this defense gets the ball back for its own. Defensive backs have tough jobs. I mean... You think about whether you play nickel, whether you play dime, whatever it is, you put more DBs on the field, it's more speed, it's more guys that can cover, but they also got to cover that ground. But to cover the ground and make the pick, a lot of times you don't see that. Superb effort by that guy. Western Michigan has it back as they send the offense onto the field. How big is this drive? Scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? Off the play fake. Throws to the wideout. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. The Broncos will line up to punt it away. Gets it away. Solid distance, but more importantly, trying to keep it away from that return man. Under 30 seconds to go here in the half. Let's see how they play it on first and ten. He wants to start this drive with a pass. Grabbed in the middle. It's Tate. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. On second down, he'll fire. Quick completion on the out. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, looks like we've got a great one going down in Columbus today. It's been very evenly played through two quarters. Both teams have been physical. Both teams have battled there in the trenches. Neither has been perfect, but they're both right there in this game. And it's kind of the calm before the storm. Each side sort of licking their wounds right now, but expect another fight in a phone booth in this second half. And with that, we send it back to the guys in the shoe. Just about set to put toe to leather as we are deadlocked here in the third. And he takes this from inside the five. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. 
The sledding has been tough. Scores have been at a premium, Jesse, and every possession seems like it could switch the momentum of the game. Yeah, Reese, for this offense, just feels like they just haven't been as physical. For this offensive coordinator, David, he's having to go deep into the playbook just to try to generate a first down. Well, and the good thing is there's not a ton of game pressure because the other side's not scoring either. But if you can find that one thing that get that one positive play and then maybe you get those juices going and something can start to build. Reading the option, it's Howard. Pass the sticks, him still on his feet. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. The Buckeyes come to the line with a new set of downs. From the gun, the running back has it. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Got stuffed on first down, it's second and ten. Finds his tight end. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is. I'm not sure he knew he had the face mask there. Tried to let it go in time, but couldn't. It's a penalty on the defense. Snagged in the middle. It's Smith. That completion gets them inside the 10, and the defense is running out of room to defend. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Looking to throw at Tower. Makes the catch! They go up top to get it down to the five-yard line as they try to pay off this drive. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Try to get it on the ground. Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. Probably the only people upset about going for it on fourth down, the punters, who don't seem to see the field as much as they used to. Now when you've got a running back like that, he just has like a sixth sense. He always seems like he can just find the crease, especially in these short yardage situations. He comes up with a huge play there on fourth down. They need to move it two more yards on third and goal. They'll run it. Touchdown, Buckeyes! They take the lead with the six. And I love the physicality of this offense. It's third and goal. It's money time. I've got to be more physical than you. And that's exactly what this offense just did. Put the ball on the ground and put it in the end zone. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Two very different emotions inside the locker rooms of these teams who did battle today. Louisville rolled to victory. And how about that Cardinals quarterback? Remember, this is a program that produced Lamar Jackson. So to gush about a play caller there, that's saying something. A lot to go through in the film session this week for both teams. But boy, it sure is going to be easier for the side that came away with the win. Kevin, thanks a lot for that one. Sounds as if they had a good one there. Quick pass on the jet motion. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking for a man. It's Wolf. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys in the coverage, only rush four, and still get home? That makes you feel good if you're the D coordinator. And the Broncos will try to pin them back with the punt. They make the stop, but there is a penalty marker down. Let's see what the call is. Personal foul. Personal foul. Personal foul. Personal foul. Personal foul. the kicker. Personal kicker. Personal defense. Personal defense. Personal defense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. 
So the offense keeps his drive alive thanks to the roughing the punter penalty. Pulls it and fires to the left. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. He's back to throw on second down. Finds a soft spot in the middle. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. They're facing a third down. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. And this senior quarterback a little too bold there, and he's lucky he didn't get picked off throwing into double coverage. Well, after struggling so much in the first half, you thought they would have made some adjustments here at halftime to see if they can open up this passing game. But early on in the second half, you're just not really able to get that done. Incompletion on third down in your own end. You're expecting them to punt. Line gets set, first down. He's looking to throw it. Makes the grab. It's Judkins. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. A great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get into the ground. You want many guys swarming to the football to try to get that elusive guy on the ground. Motion from the offense. From the gun, the running back looking for room. And a good, solid pickup for the defense cuts him down. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Takes the handoff. It's Judkins. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Trying to pick up a first down. Quarterback will keep it. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. And the Buckeyes are flying down the field. The back goes in motion. They've softened them up with a run. Now to throw it. Wide open downfield. Defense is there to make the stop, but he's got the first down, and they'll have it first and goal with the six. On the doorstep of cashing it in for the offense. Fired that thing out in a heartbeat, but it's incomplete. Can the defense stop them again on second and goal? Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. Knocked down for the tackle. They relentlessly moved forward. Now it's getting down to Cases. Third and goal. They'll try to power it in. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Fourth and goal from the three. Let's see what this offense can dial up from here. Trying to punch it in. Just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. This guy just has a nose for the end zone, and you love his ability to find creases, use his speed in the open field, and go score. He's been really good for his offense early this year. That already his fifth rushing touchdown on the season. Lining up to add another. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. They took it 64 yards right down the field and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. On the run from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Wide receiver shows motion. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. And now on second down for this offense. Defense a little too jumpy there, and they got into the neutral zone too soon. Encroachment. Defense. Defense just a little too eager, and that's five yards for the O. From the gun. Give on the inside. 
He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, guys, Ohio State has the lead here. This has been utter domination through three quarters, and the stats will back that up. One more period to go, and we'll see just how much fight they've got left in them. And here comes the offense on second down. Now they'll run the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. The Broncos will call on their punt team. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. They'll get down and put a stop to the return at about the 28-yard line. The Buckeyes roll that offense back out there. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they want. This defense doesn't know how to react from getting punched in the mouth on that last drive. So in this next drive, David, I think you keep running the football because that sets up the play action. And here's the pick, and oh, did they need that right now. And he's wrapped up after a solid return on the pick. Listen, the enemy is the clock, right? You're down by two scores. You've got to make something happen. Really, really good job by the defense forcing the turnover, getting the ball back to your offense. Now you got to go score, and i got to get one more stop. Couldn't order better field position for this offense. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Yeah, and this offense has to find a way to run the football. They, they got to get more creative, but whatever that looks like for this offense, something to jumpstart them because nothing really going on the ground. Yeah, defensively, though, you got to give them credit, too, because they knew that physically they were going to try to be challenged up front. That was a big MO for this offense coming into it, but the defense, they've risen to the occasion. Their front seven has dominated this entire game. Finally, some signs of life from this offense, which has done nothing in the second half. It's first and ten. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to throw. It's Wolf getting some heat. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. These are the perfect situations you love to be in. Known passing situations. These are not where the offensive tackles want to be. And when you're on the edge and there's no threat of the run, pin your ears back, get the nice first down set. This is a third and long. He's looking downfield to throw. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. So the big blitz on third and almost unmanageable now leaves him in fourth and pretty much impossible. Perfect job by the defense, being aggressive, taking advantage of a known passing situation, catching the offense a little bit off guard. Maybe they thought they were going to play a little bit more conservative, but the blitz gets home, and they get the quarterback for the second. Yet another punt on the way. Got to make sure that hamstring stays loose. He's been busy. And the ball hits at the three and gets into the end zone. It'll be a touchback. The give to the back. On the move at the 30. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. They've got a first and 10 at the 34. Caught in the backfield. It's a Buka. They got him free for a big gainer down to the 43. One of the things that makes this guy so dangerous is how good he is after the catch. If he's got any space around him, he's able to burst. He's able to make people miss and get extra yards for his offense. You saw it right there.
The Buckeyes want to crank the tempo. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. Catch in the middle. It's Tate. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. The Buckeyes have it for the first and ten. Well, the defense didn't blitz. They didn't have everybody in gaps, and the offensive line took advantage at the point of attack, getting some push, opening up a hole, and the offense ripping off a nice run there. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. This offense is not letting up, guys. They've got a lead here late, and they are still taking shots. They're still looking. Here comes the rush, and they've got it wrapped up at the 28. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. Defense getting stingier in their own end of the field. It's third and long from the 28. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. And on fourth down, they'll try to put three on the board. And this field goal attempt might just seal the deal by making it a three-score game late. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? Guys, right back to your game after we update the nation on this one. Oklahoma rolled to a victory, and after putting up this kind of win, there has to be some Heisman buzz around a program that produced four winners of the award between 2003 and 2018. The circle of life in college football, where one team moves on feeling like kings, and the other heads home, licking its wounds. Yeah, how about that? Sounds as if they had a good ball game there. Kevin, thanks for the update. They'll throw it on first down. Finds a man on the right. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And the pass is complete. He's got it at the 20. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. After the misfire, it's second down. And that's just the kind of game it's been for this quarterback in this offense. And into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Western Michigan. A score for the big fella here. Why are tight ends so effective in the red zone? Well, these aren't the guys that are going to burn by you and go for 70 most of the time. But when you can use their big body frames, threaten them to run the football and be a blocker in the running game, and now you slip them in the secondary, make that big play. Lining up for the PAT. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. They still have work to do, trailing by two possessions here in the fourth. They'll line up for the onside kick. A few anxious moments there, but the hands team, true to its name, as they make the grab and get the ball. Here comes the Ohio State offense onto the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. This defense really has their hands full, guys. they got to play with great eye discipline because they don't know who's going to be keeping the football in their run game. And that time, you saw the QB. He was able to kind of skirt his way to get some positive yards. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. 
They want that clock to run. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting all those blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. On third and short, the power run here. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. The defense burns their third and final timeout of the half. And they'll take a knee. Defense trying to keep this offense from getting a line on who to block. If they can pick up a yard here on second down, that might put this one in the books. They'll try to slam it in. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Ohio State! That one will put a little extra distance. Give them a little cushion down the stretch. And there was a little bit of hope, but you just snatched it away with that touchdown. This game is now over. On to attempt the try. And that extra point is a big one as they now have a three-possession, 17-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Guys, we're about to get another look at this Western Michigan offense. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. Yeah, and listen, you can't be hanging your head just yet. This game's not over. This coaching staff is still evaluating their players. So if you're on the field right now, you've got to finish this game. You've got to try to prove something to them. Well, the game is over, to be clear. They're not coming back. But I hear what you're saying. Keep fighting. Keep showing your coaches it matters. And maybe find something positive here late that you can build on for the weeks to come. Unloads to the wideout. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Back to pass, it's Wolf. And they can't make the connection. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. They'll leave the offense out there to try to get it past the marker and pick up the first. Coming after it. The incomplete pass ends a frustrating series, and they turn it over on downs. Running out the clock seems to be a mere formality here as they are ready to snap it in victory formation. They won the game today. That's two in a row. If they win the next one, it's called a winning streak. It's been done before. And we're seeing the identity of this team coming to fruition. You just get the sense they're finding out who they are, what they're about, what they're going to do schematically, and who their big playmakers are. Which is tough to do, right? It's tough to grow throughout a season and understand who you are. But when you stack wins week after week on top of each other and start to have success, you start to grow as an identity and you start to understand who you are. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.